What is going on guys? I'm back here with another video here and uh, you can't really see all the cards I have but I have a bunch of cards here um, laid out and we're going to go over all of these cards and I want you guys to try to help me. What cards would you guys send in for PSA? I know you're not going to be able to see um, exactly you know the centering and the quality of all these cards. Most of these are you know brand new cards. Um, there shouldn't be any dings or anything like that. Um, you know, centering on some of the prism uh, might be off on a little, on a couple of them. Not too worried about that, but just based off the card itself, um, give me some feedback. What cards would you send in? Because I have like 200 cards probably sitting in front of me right now that I'm thinking about getting graded. Um, some more than others, obviously. Um, but we're going to go over a few of these piles here. Um, so let's just jump right into the video guys. Make sure you hit the like button on the video Obviously it'll help out the video and the channel grow to get more people to see this video So I get more feedback on these uh, PSA submissions. I might be doing um, but yeah, let's get right into the video here and uh, Just try to move this a little bit uh, the first card um, We'll go over since it's kind of a straggler. It's, a, it's my only vet here um, For NBA. It's a Hassan Whiteside NBA hoops premium here and it is numbered to uh, 35 so that'd be the only reason I might get it graded number to 35 um, like I said I think that's my only vet uh, uh, numbered card I have um, but other than that let's just go to baseball because this is the only baseball card I have um, that I was thinking about getting graded it's just a Luis Robert card he's a pretty uh, solid prospect it's a tops gallery um, just a base card here and I don't think it's anything special but uh, I think it might be worth getting graded. Let me know on that. Uh, and now we're going to go to a, some, these are some old school cards here. Um, this card, this first card up is dinged uh, a little bit. Uh, let's just put those, let's do one at a time. Um, this Eddie George here, Eddie George rookie card from uh, Score it looks like. Um, you know, it, it is a little dinged up, um, but I, this is a card I've had in my personal collection since I was a little kid. Um, so I thought about it might getting great. A lot of these cards coming up aren't worth a whole lot. Um, but again, like I said, these are cards that I've had, you know, since I was a little kid. This is Gary Payton here, NBA Hoops. Nice, solid card. Ray Allen. This Brian Erlacher. It's a rookie card, Brian Erlacher. Um, Jamal Crawford. And this is actually numbered. Uh, let's see it there. Out of 199. So uh, for, you know, being an older card, numbered, not too bad. Ron Artest, rookie, you know, I'm a Bulls fan. Um, would like to get those graded. Those are be solid for the collection. Now, Paul Pierce, uh, Flair Showcase there. A Kevin Garnett, Upper Deck. A Tracy McGrady. I always thought that was a cool card there. Um, this Chris Weber here. Nice retro there. Jason Kidd. Paul Pierce. Another Chris Weber. Vince Carter. Tim Duncan, Dirk Nowinski, and a Kevin Garnett, and then the cream of the crop. Again, like I said, I know a lot of those cards there aren't worth a whole lot, so I didn't spend a lot of time on them. But right here, ladies and gentlemen, I think is the cream of the crop. Um, this will make me pull all those cards out. We got a Kobe Bryant Fleer Metal 96-97. It looks to be in really good condition. I'll try to show you those corners there. Um, looks looks in really good shape. This card has been blowing up. I've, I've been seeing, um, you know, with you know, obviously Kobe passing, um, his prices have skyrocketed. But this looks to be in really good shape to me. Um, and uh, with the hype around Kobe and everything, I thought it'd be a perfect time um, to get that graded. That could be a really um, good card. So that's definitely one I want to get graded. I think we'll just leave it over here. And uh, some of these next cards, I'm going to go through a lot of these quicker because these are a lot of the same. We're going to go back to current here. And uh, these are the draft picks. These are just the base cards. Uh, mainly these are guys that either A, I think are going to do better in the future. Um, like Patrick Williams. Um, you know, he does not get a lot of hype. But he could end up being the best player from this class in uh, three years. He, he compares a lot to Kawhi Leonard and uh, players of that kind of similar. But... Yeah, um, let's just get into it. You know, base Patrick's. We got a few of them here, a few different variations. Then we got a base Lamelo. You know, you know how he's the top guy. So uh, I think any of these his cards are worth getting graded. And uh, then Anthony Edwards, some bases, and then uh, James Wiseman here as well. And so those are the bases. Um, I don't think there's 
really anybody else on the bases that I would maybe get graded, but uh, Patrick Williams, Pink Ice, Tyrese Halliburton, Denny, Cole Anthony, James Wiseman, Anthony Edwards. Looks like we got a few more Pink Ices. Uh, Anthony Edwards, a couple of them here. James Wiseman, another Denny. Patrick, got a couple of Patrick's. Uh, Denny, Tyrese, Anthony Edwards. So uh, I think those could definitely be worth getting graded. Let me know on those as well. And then I have some green ones here, uh, and uh, maybe a couple of red, white, and blues, and maybe some silver presents. Can't remember. Uh, James Wiseman, Denny, Peyton Pritchard, LaMelo Ball Green. Nice, solid card there. Um, James Wiseman, looking nice. You know, a lot of you know a lot of the same cards. You know, just green variations here. Another LaMelo Ball there. Should uh, hopefully. And uh, some silvers, you know, Silver Crusade uh, for Wiseman and Edwards. And then some red, white, and blues, most of the guys. And I think those are some more base. But let me know. Let me know what you think about those draft pick players um, and the variations there on getting those graded. Um, let's see. Let's go to football next um, before we keep jumping around. Um, so this is, and then everything else will be basketball. So I got a Jordan Love. Prism, and this is the black and white variation. It actually looks to be decently centered. So I think, uh, you know, he, he's going to get a chance here. Um, could be worth getting graded there. Uh, got a couple Chase Claypools. Um, three of them, actually. Again, uh, that th I think they look decently centered. Um, this Joe Burrow here is another red, white, and blue. Um, let's take a look at this. Centering might be off a little bit. But I think it's worth getting graded nonetheless. Same as this Justin Herbert here. Centering is off. You can tell from right to left. Maybe even top to bottom. Um, but if it at least gets like an 8 or a 9, I would still be happy. Uh, this is like my first big pull card that I pulled. So I was super ecstatic about that. And oh, here's my uh, football vet I was thinking about getting graded here as well. It's just a Saquon Barkley squares. Number to 199. I thought it might be worth getting graded. So let me know on those. Um... But out of these, I think I'm definitely going to get the Herbert graded, the Joe Burrow, and uh, at least one of these clay pools, maybe even all, maybe even that love. Maybe we'll just throw all those in the grade pile that I'm thinking of, um, like for sure, um, besides that Kobe there. So let's put that over here. And let's move on to, um, where are these? These all should be, Okay. So we'll go one by one here. These are non-numbered rookie cards. Um, oops. Yes. Oh, I thought I got all the, the football out of the, uh, out of this, but I guess I got some more football coming up. Um, let me just move that. I need a little more space. This Kobe White. It's a Panini Illusion. It's an Emerald. A uh, Bull Bull uh, Illusion again. Emerald. No, he's not getting a lot of playing time, but he had a lot of hype. Um, Kobe White NBA Hoops Premium Stock here, green. And then we got another Wiseman, more draft picks. These are the, the purple. We got a Wiseman and a Lamelo. And uh, a Ja Morant Mosaic. Looks to be really nice. And a Ja Morant NBA Hoops Premium there. And uh, this is really nice. A James Wiseman Downtown. What do you think of that? James Wise in downtown. Definitely worth getting graded. And I still got a Tyrese Maxi downtown. Thinking of getting that graded as well. I think those, uh, a lot of these actually, um, the jaw, the two jaws, the Kobe's for me. Um, I don't I don't know about the bull bull, but Patrick, uh, James Wiseman, Edwards, some more of these, Obi Top and Pink Eyes, uh, Cole Anthony, that's a hyper, silver hyper, and Patrick Silver. Patrick Hyper and Anthony Edwards. Oh, that's just a green. So a lot of the, I have a lot of the draft pick cards, uh, as you'll see coming up. Um, but we did have another. This is a silver prism uh, Chase Claypool. Probably get that graded. Jalen Rager. I don't know about Justin Jefferson. Uh, potentially get that as well. And we do have a Disco uh, Jordan Love there. It's pretty nice. The Tua. Tagovailoa, 
And we got a base, Justin Herbert, and uh, another Claypool. We got like five Claypools. Um, there's another Wiseman, and this Tua Prism uh, jersey card. I think it might be worth getting graded, uh, even though it's not like a real jersey swatch. And we do have a Zion Williamson NBA Hoops right here. And we got two of them. We got one in a different case here, but these are looking solid there. Um, definitely think about those as well. So that's kind of my, I think I'm going to get graded stacked. So let's go to the numbered rookies here. These are the numbered rookies that I got. Um, and then we'll go to the autos. Okay, so we've got Patrick Williams, numbered to 199. We've got two of those. Or is that three? We've got three Patricks to 199. And we've got two different variations, a 299 for Patrick as well. And uh, we'll save that for the last, actually. This Anthony Edwards card right here. And this is numbered to 75. So that's a pretty solid one right there. That grades out like 10. We got a Cole Anthony, 299. Um, we got a Matisse Thibel to 99. No, he's not playing that great, but uh, I think, you know, it's definitely worth getting graded. Uh, Jalen Johnson Prism, and this is numbered to 125. I know defenders aren't in the greatest high demand, but, you know, I'm a Bears fan, um, and that's a numbered card, and he's actually he played pretty well as a rookie. Um, we got this Chase Young here. It's an illusion, uh, numbered to 149. And we got a Tyrese Maxey. Um, an Obi Toppin, Kyra Lewis Jr., and that's a blue cracked ice to 99. Um, these were to, yeah, the blues are to 199. That's the 99. And I got this Denny Advia front row seat contender. And as you can see, it's numbered to 99. I actually hit the wrong way. Um, but this card really is uh, intriguing me. I don't know what this card is worth. I cannot figure it out um, It's Ben Simmons reminiscent. It's his rookie year card uh, Him and Blake Griffin and you see it's numbered to 25 I can't find any of these that are numbered anywhere. I can find the regular version But not this numbered, but uh, I think that's a big-time card potentially um, Definitely might definitely gonna get that graded. I do believe Let's go to the autos that I'm not sure about getting graded um, and then we'll get to the ones that I definitely are going to get graded and those will wrap up this video I know it's a little bit longer video, but uh, I wanted to take some time and uh, obviously I could have took a lot more time to Go over a lot of these cards um, But we got Daniel Otoro autograph there And that's to what, 199 to 199 uh, Zeke Najid 199 We got a Desmond Bain base uh, Vernon Carey Hyper Aaron Naismith to 199. We got a Jaden McDaniels. This is Orange Pulsar to 49. We got Alexi Pukashevsky. I think that's how you kind of say it. And it's a silver, silver present auto. Xavier Tillman. Trey Jones here, cracked ice to 99. Uh, Daniel Orturo to 49. Cole Anthony base auto. Uh, and Alexi. Uh, again here and this is to 99 Alexi and uh, oh this is my vet auto that I got um, John Wall and that's number to 49 uh, Panini Threads uh, Jalen Smith auto to 99 Devin Vassell and that's to uh, 88 that's the fast break to 88 Nathan Knight to 99 Nathan Knight Silver uh, Jaden McDaniels, and that is to 25. That's the green pulsar. Um, Xavier Tillman, that's the orange pulsar to 49. And I got this Neville Gallimore um, to 25. Not sure how he's going to do, but that one probably won't get graded. And let's get to the cream of the crop here, guys, for the autos. We got a Patrick Williams base auto that I'm definitely going to get graded. Another one. Then we got an OB Toppin base. And a Cole, and we got a Cole Anthony, and that is to 25 right there. That is really nice there. If he uh, keeps improving, that could be a big time card. And uh, right here, it's probably my most expensive card. Um, right here, guys, 
This LaMelo Ball autograph card, Prism Auto, and it is numbered to 99. The comps right now that I've kind of seen on, on this is PSA 10 or 9 is worth anywhere from three to five or six thousand dollars. So uh, the, um, it, it looks to be in really good shape to me. I don't really see nothing wrong with it. Um, but you never know how, you know, it could get graded. But yeah, guys, let me know which cards you guys would definitely get graded. This is kind of the stack. Um, you know, there's, I mean, there's probably a good 40, 50 cards that I want. You know, this Ben Simmons, I help me, please help me out on this because I cannot figure out what this is worth, number 25. Um, even let me know about the Lamella, how much you think that's worth. And uh, if you guys, if anyone wants to make a trade or, or buy any of these cards, um, might be willing to do that as well. So let me know if you if you guys have uh, any comments on that. Um, let me know um, any comments on uh, what cards you want get graded. Um, you know, obviously, certain ones would be the cheaper route, like the twenty dollar um, go, which you can't even do right now. And some of these I'd have to pay uh, more, but I'd get them back a little bit sooner. Um, so let me know on everything like that. You know, I have never done a PSA submission, but I have so many cards I. I just fully believe I need to get graded for their uh, value, long-term value, and all that good stuff. So let me know all that good stuff down below, guys. I am out of here. Thanks for watching this video.